In this video, we are going to start framing the lower level of the green bin house. Carl will be doing some chatting with you. He's the one doing the work. So he'll explain to you how he created a jig to make sure the circumference, the roundness of the bottom uh, works with the framing. It's not like you're working in a square. So he'll, he'll show you how he, how he gets that to work and stay consistent. And we'll also talk about what kind of insulation we have decided to use. All right, we're, we're getting the track ready for the framing. What are you doing right now? I made me up a jig with my radius on it and I screwed down the first layer and then I put my second layer clamped to it, hold that angle, pop one screw into it to hold that angle and then when I stick my studs in here, I'll screw them into these little holes that'll super reinforce that angle. He's making the bottom track and the top track, getting them all ready. I'm going to show you the floor here. Prefab. And prefab. A prefab. And then these will all be screwed down into the floor, the concrete. The He's the apprentice and the boss. So this is where we're at. All the tracking has to be in place. And then the framing starts for floor one. American steel out of Pennsylvania. And we are in Ohio, and even though winter is almost over and we've been waiting for spring, this is what we woke up to this morning. No. This part of the process was very tedious. He had to make all these radius, the curved um, tracks for the bottom and the top. There were several of them, as you can see. But making that jig, it's kind of like a, a little form where you just lay the track and it's already measured out. So that's basically what the jig is, um, just so you can see that. We decided to use metal instead of wood because wood can warp, it can get wet, it can rot. And, you know, we don't know how many bugs will try to get in up, up here. We're out in the woods. So we went with the metal and also it's a lot sturdier. He felt like it was going to give the walls of the grain bin more support just like i showed last week how we put um angle iron around the doors and the windows it's just extra support uh, carl is really good about always thinking ahead and um, just over killing it if that makes sense just to make sure things are right so i just wanted you to um, understand what that jig was and why we decided to go with that and you can see in the back there where he's got windows um, drawn out um, we're going to put four on the bottom level four upstairs the metal that he used for the framing downstairs is of heavier quality than the metal that's going to go upstairs. Right now, if a stud is close to a wall to on my layout, I'm putting it in just so I can lay my top track and then I'll fill in the rest of my studs. But see, like right here, I put a little weather seal in because before I spray, I want to make sure the seam gets sealed. So you're gonna seal all the seams and then spray foam for insulation. Well, I tried to with the spray can, yeah. But it's like flex. Yeah. yeah, the flex seal is the black one. It's okay. It's just a secondary, just in case right. since they didn't put the. Every window has um, braces. You can see them all the way up. Bolts, bolts. They're all bolted to give the the sides more strength. Yeah, you keep it from fluttering. So it won't flutter and it goes all the way up there you can see and all four windows are cut out there's one over here those are 10 foot that will be the top of the second floor so right there at 10 feet is where second floor starts yeah, at the, the top of this set on top of this structural 18 gauge two and a half inch so starting here from the front door you can see he's uh, almost halfway done almost, almost. I'm working diligently all the way around one man show here so far <laughs>
just in case. Let's see. So behind the bracket, you're putting tape? Butyl tape. Butyl tape. Butyl. B-U-T-Y-L. Butyl. You could sell that shit on Amazon. I'm just saying. I guess we'll put the link below. Put the link below. That way when I spray foam, just in case it doesn't seal that seam, which will be behind the stud. Extra insurance. And there you have it. All of the framing is in for the bottom floor. Once that's done, we'll start putting up the floor joist. So we're going to put up four posts that are going to hold the floor joist and lean onto the framing. So you'll, that's the next video. And thank you for watching. Any questions, just ask them below. Have a blessed day.